Welcome to Perfection's Clutch Installation Lab. Today we're going to show you how to remove and replace the entire clutch hydraulic release system on the 2003 and up series of Dodge Ram pickup trucks. This is typical of the factory system. Master cylinder, line, and slave cylinder. Now notice we've still got the start switch attached. We'll transfer that in a little bit. But we're going to replace this system with the Perfection Technovation Solution System. That includes an aluminum master cylinder, an aluminum slave cylinder, and a stainless braided line, and of course a new push rod. Now there's just a few tricks to help make this replacement a lot easier. How to deal with the start switch. That can be a little bit tricky. There's two ways to deal with that. How to remove the master cylinder from the firewall. Quarter turn comes right out. We're going to remove the system and slide the new Perfection Technovation Solution System in its place. So let's get started servicing this truck. First you have to remove the keeper. It's a little red tab. Slide that over and push it back. Then, just behind it, there's a little green keeper. You get a hold of that one, move it over, and hopefully, there it is. The start switch is disconnected. One other way to remove the start switch is to remove this retaining plate right here. You squeeze the two tabs together, slide the plate to the rear, and then just push the switch off the push rod. That'll give you a different way to get the switch off. To remove the safety start switch, two tabs. Squeeze them in, slide the keeper back towards what would be the pedal, remove the keeper, take the switch, slide it back towards the pedal just a little bit, snap the front end off, remove the switch. Now to remove the pin from the clutch pedal to the master cylinder push rod, I'm just gonna take a straight screwdriver Push it in between the pin and the clutch pedal a little bit, twist, and the pin pops out. So I'll just reach up there with my hand and pull the pin out all the way. This truck is equipped with adjustable clutch and brake pedal, so to remove the push rod, just insert a screwdriver behind the clutch push rod right there and pop it off. Now to disconnect the master cylinder from the bracket, quarter turn counterclockwise, you can start to pull the entire system out. To remove the slave cylinder, 13 millimeter deep socket, and just remove the nuts. Notice the slave cylinder is pushing itself out. That's because there's a spring inside the cylinder that's expanding right now. That spring provides the preload against the clutch release bearing. So when you put the new cylinder in, you'll actually be compressing the spring a bit during the insulation process and establishing that preload. The hose is attached to the truck body with two plastic keepers. I've disconnected those. There's one here and there's one a little bit further up. So those are disconnected. So I have to just pull the hose out a little bit and pay attention to where the hose came through. You want to reroute the system right back through there again. I'm just going to feed the slave cylinder and the line down into position. And then I'll go down and attach the slave cylinder and bolt it up to the transmission. Now I'm leaving the push rod off, I'll install it underneath the dashboard. Just makes it a little easier, shorter to handle. So I insert the master cylinder, find the index notch, and then rotate it, lock it in position, and I'll go ahead and complete the installation from underneath the dash. I inserted the push rod through the switch, then there's a foam washer, then a shoulder washer. I'm going to put the push rod into the master cylinder. There it is, it's locked in. This is a safety feature. You get one chance to lock that in. It's not designed to be removed. You get one insertion. Pull on it. It's locked. Now the pin. The pin has a hex on it. And that hex locks in to the pedal. 
So I'm going to put the pin in and hopefully just pick up the push rod. Give it a little push. And it snaps in and locks in on the hex. Insert the harness and then lock it with the keeper. Now make sure the push rod goes directly into the fork pocket. Just push it straight in. Start, start the nuts on the studs. Now these are shipping straps. They hold the push rod in a retracted position holding the piston back against the spring. These in virtually every case will break inside as soon as you push on the clutch pedal and you get a full stroke. So don't worry about this right now, they're just holding it in. If you ever reinstall a used slave sonar and you don't have the straps, I wouldn't be too concerned. Just make sure that the push rod goes straight in and pockets into the fork, not that it's hanging down and goes below the fork and doesn't actuate the release system. And this is one of the two keepers that hold the line onto the cab. You take the line, snap it into the keeper. Well, you can see with just a couple of tips and tricks, pretty easy to remove the entire clutch hydraulic system from this truck and replace it with the Perfection Technovation Solution hydraulic release system. This application, we're using an aluminum master cylinder, aluminum slave cylinder, and a nice stainless steel braided line. Real nice installation. If you have any questions about a hydraulic release system, a clutch, or a flywheel, please call Perfection at 800-258-8312. Press 4 and your call will be routed directly to technical support for further assistance.